Do I think Hilary Duff actually wrote this book? No. Do I know what it's about? No. But... Hello everybody, it's your girl Jay, and today I'm here with my March TBR for 2023. If you're new to this channel, then you don't know this, but my mom picks my TBR every month, and she always has a theme that goes along with it, and that's kind of the way that she is a part of my channel. So this month's theme is COVID, because my entire household currently has COVID, and so um, she came up with one that was basically just a lot of titles with first in it, because it's her first time getting COVID and a lot of titles with last because it better be the last time that she gets COVID. So I took it upon myself to um, just take her theme and choose books for it. So this is like a um, partnership TBR, if you will. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book is What Goes Around by Courtney Summers because COVID goes around real hard, especially in this household. This is two books in one. It is Cracked Up To Be and Some Girls Are by Courtney Summers. I have only ever read Courtney Summers' Sadie and I loved it. So I'm very intrigued to pick up two more of her books. They are also very short. I think the first one is only 214 pages and the second one is like 236. So it should be fairly easy to get through these since I can't leave. The next book that we chose is The Tragedy of Miss Janira Flowers. This is by Joe Babcock. And this is because the fact that we all have COVID is a tragedy, okay? It is very upsetting. I already had it once. And here we are for round two. And let me tell you, it's still not fun. It's definitely not as bad as round one for me, but it's still not a good time. But this follows a 16 year old teen who lives in a very religious household. He is a closeted gay and then he ends up meeting a drag queen who kind of takes him under their wing and has him perform as Miss Geneva Flowers. But he dives headfirst into this new way of living and he finds himself a little bit over his head so it's the story of that. But I have had this on my shelf for a really long time and I completely forgot it was about drag queens which I freaking love drag queens so I don't know why I have not picked this up yet, but maybe this will be the month that it happens. Next up, we chose Nemesis by Anna Banks because my father is now my mother's nemesis because he was the one who brought COVID into our house because he went to a Raptors game and picked up COVID, infected my mother who infected me. So father, if you're watching this, how dare you not wear a mask to the Raptors game? But I don't really know too much about this one other than it has been on my TBR forever now. I do know that it is about a plague that is sweeping a kingdom, so it's very fitting for this time in my life. Next up, we chose The Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley because we are not allowed to leave the house or the apartment, so we are stuck here until further notice. But this one is in typical Lucy Foley fashion. Big cast, people die, murder mystery, you know? I don't believe I have read a Lucy Foley book, although I own two other of her books. I really should just like have a spree where I read all of them. Maybe I'll do a video like that. If that's something you want to see, let me know and I'll just read all the Lucy Foley books. But I have heard very good things about her writing, so I am intrigued to pick it up. Next up we chose The Elixir by Hilary Duff because we need an elixir in order to get through the days and all the coughing and phlegm and nastiness. So basically just a lot of medicine. This is another one that has been on my shelf forever. And I think I only bought it because it is by Hilary Duff. Do I think Hilary Duff actually wrote this book? No. Do I know what it's about? No. But back in the day, we would buy anything that Hilary Duff put her name on. Please let me know if anybody in the entire world has even read this book because I've never seen anybody talk about it. I believe it's like a love story about a girl whose dad goes missing and then she starts seeing pictures of like mysterious man in all of her pictures and then she ends up meeting the mysterious man and they're apparently like fated to be together. Something like that. Not really sure, but... Next up is Just Breathe by Cammy McGovern. This is because we are all just trying to breathe at this point because we are all very sick. This one has been on my TBR list so many times. Have I read it yet? Clearly not. Will this month be the month? Maybe. It follows a boy who has cystic fibrosis. He is very popular, the senior class president, and then a girl named Jamie who is not as popular and is battling depression. They end up meeting, getting along, falling in love, battling these things together. I'm hoping that it's not going to be the like love solves everything trope because I'm not a fan of that, but I guess we'll see if we actually read it this month. And then the final book that I chose, we chose, 
was chosen for this TBR is The Cleaner by Paul Cleave and this is because we are going to have to clean everything in this household because my brother is staying with his girlfriend so that he does not get infected so we're gonna have to wipe everything down for when he finally does come home so that he doesn't get sick. But this one follows a like serial killer who works as a janitor for the police department and he's only killed six people but then the media is saying that he's killed seven which he obviously knows is not the case and so he's decided that he's going to catch this copycat killer and pin his six murders on him and figure out how like he can get away scot-free basically but this is another one that has been on my shelf for a very long time I think I bought it like from a thrift store because it was like buy four get one free kind of thing and my mom was like you might like this serial killers buzzword so I picked it up and I it's just been sitting here so maybe since I can't leave this is the month all right everybody so those were the books that my mom and I shows for the TBR this month. Let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!